What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with another episode. Now today's content is an increased focus on the Z Fold series which brings us to three split screen view tips and tricks you may not have known about. Now for this tutorial I will be demonstrating how to enter split screen view. It's important to keep in mind that people who are watching this content may not have a Z Fold series device or may not even know that this feature exists. All things said, let's go ahead and get into it. So let's talk how to enter split screen view. And we're going to start with our first app. I'm going to pick the Google News Feed here. Now, if you look towards the bottom of the display, we have three icons. And the one we want to focus on is the one with the three lines. So if we tap on that, it's going to pull up what I like to call an app preview. Basically, this key shows all your open apps. And this is where we're also going to enter split screen view. So we're going to tap on the app icon for the Google News Feed. We get this nice drop down menu and we're going to tap on the option open and split screen view. Now you can see that on the right side of the display, we get pulled up what I like to call the app tray where we can select our next app. And in a situation like this where I have the Google News Feed open, I like to open the Google Podcast, get a podcast going while I'm browsing the news feed. And you can see we can navigate through both of these apps at the same time. It's very productive. We can also resize these windows. We have these three dots in the middle. We can press and hold and then drag either left or press and hold and drag right. Now I'm going to get this back towards the center. There are three hidden features here that you may not know about. I didn't know about them. I accidentally found out about them. And that is if you tap on the three dots in the center, you get this small pop-up menu here. So we're going to cover these three options one by one because this little tray that you've seen here disappears fairly quick. So our first option, will be change orientation. We're going to tap on the three dots and then tap on that icon. And you can see that instead of both apps being side by side, one is going to be above the other. Now, if we tap the three dots again, we can flip them. So it'll take the app that was on the bottom and put it at the top. And the one that was at the top, put it at the bottom. Now, before we go to that last icon, I do wanna show, we're gonna flip back around and then we're gonna change the orientation again. You can also flip these in this orientation. So that's nice to know. Now our last icon will allow us to add both these apps as an app pair to our panel. And the panel is this, Thing that you pull out here from the right side of the fold and you can actually place this app pair into this panel or menu as you might call it so we're going to give it a try we're going to tap on three dots and then we're going to tap the star and then we can add the apps to the edge panel so you see that's going to drop right into the edge panel there we can pull the edge panel out we can scroll down if we have a lot more here or if we're at the top we can scroll down and then we can select that app pair if we're not in it so let's go ahead give this a try i'm going to exit this and i think this is great because this is an actual app pair that i would save so we're going to tap on it it's going to pull it right up and this way you don't have to go through the process of opening your first app then tapping on the app icon for that app, then selecting split screen view and all those extra steps. You have the app pair saved in the edge panel. It's quick and easy to access. So that is it for today's content. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, please leave a like. If you're watching on YouTube and have any questions or comments, as always, drop those down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Now there are three ways you can support the content. 
The first way is to click on the Amazon storefront link in the description below. There you'll find items that I have bought or would buy and anything you buy from the storefront does support the content. The next way you can show your support is just by sharing this content with someone who might enjoy it or find it useful. And the last way you can show your support is just by clicking the subscribe button. Now liking and subscribing are important for new viewers and listeners. If new viewers and listeners see likes and subscribers, they're going to think that the content is helpful, worth watching and listening to. As always, thanks for watching and may the universe flow in your favor. And until next time, Leon checking out.